will now look into actors and poses in a little more detail. Currently, we are looking at an existing play called 2 on 1 High Support, and no actors or poses are currently selected. The first thing we notice is we are able to look at this play in design mode and have a very good sense of what the play will do because we can see the actors' paths. This is because the Show Paths setting is currently switched on. Notice if we switch it off by clicking here, the Edit Paths disappear. Generally speaking, for running plays, you will turn this off, and for designing plays, you will leave it on. Now let's turn our attention to the defenseman. At the current position as defined by the playhead, the defenseman is drawn clearly. Notice as we move the playhead back and forth, all the current positions of the actor are updated on the play surface. Note that each of the other ghosted images of the defenseman indicate poses or defined positions in time for the defenseman. If we select the defenseman's first pose, Play Manager draws a solid square around this actor to indicate he is selected. We can select the Actor's Properties command to look at the properties of this actor and the properties of the selected pose. Let's close the Actor Properties form. Now let's drag the playhead forward a little. Notice the first pose remains selected, but what if we select the defenseman at this time? Play Manager draws a dotted square around the actor to indicate this actor is selected, but there is currently no pose to find at this time. Let's bring up the Actor's Properties form now. Play Manager tells you here that there is no pose to find at this time. If we right mouse click on the defenseman now, notice there is a command available called Make Pose. Let's issue that command, and now we see that Play Manager draws a solid square around the actor. Now we can simply drag the pose around, and this will adjust the path this actor takes. We'll try to round out the defenseman's path a little. Okay, let's move the playhead a little further forward. Now select the defenseman at this time, and as expected we get a dotted square around the actor, because there is no pose. Last time we used the make pose command, but just as easy, we can just start dragging the actor, and play manager will understand that you want to create a pose. We'll continue to round out the defenseman's path. Of course we can grab the existing poses and make subtle adjustments to them as well. We now look at actor selections, when we have two actors who are very close to each other or perhaps right on top of each other. The most common occurrence of this is when a puck is on top of a player to indicate possession. Currently no actors are selected in this play. If we click here, we are clicking on the player and the puck. In cases like this, Play Manager will always select the puck. But what if we actually want to select the player? There's a couple of things we can do. Since the player is bigger than the puck, we can click outside the boundaries of the puck to get the player. This may not always work, because you may have two objects that are the same size superimposed on each other. Let's unselect everything. Now let's select another pose for the player. Now when we click here, Play Manager will assume you want to select the player, since we already have another pose for the player selected. Another sneaky trick we can use is to lasso both players and the puck, then holding down the shift key, click on the puck to unselect it.